Welcome back to the Evergreen series. Today, we're playing the back nine at Circling Raven Golf Club, and we love playing the dice game that we played at Palouse Ridge, so we're gonna run it back today. The dice game is pretty simple. Anytime you make a birdie, you get to roll the dice. Whatever the dice lands on is how many points you get. But if you make a bogey, the other person gets to roll the dice. And each one of those points is gonna be worth $5 for today's match. Let's get this thing started. Roll, give me that dice, Shaler. Make it. Come on. Okay. All right, and we're back at Circling Raven with the dice. You guys know what this means. I think you guys enjoyed the last video. I don't know, it's literally been like two days since we even filmed this one. So uh, we got hole 10 right here, drivable part four, 336, flags in the front. Oh, that's the wrong way, ball. Let's go that way. I mean, it's probably fine. Probably in that hill somewhere. Yeah. Well, you weren't gonna hit it right. That still gives you a chance to roll the dice and get it up and down from there. But I think we shot, yeah, what is it? It's probably 300 front edge. So got to rip this driver, but Eagle is two rolls. Oh. Scared of right. Oh, hit the cart. Did I hit his, oh, oh, it hit the cart. It's going right. Okay, now we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> That's a good spot, Shaler. Way to park your cart there. Okay, I was not expecting to be this deep into this stuff. I thought it was just gonna be on the side hill. Instead, I'm in the this tree stuff. These trees, fortunately, are not that tall. I'm gonna go with the flop 60. I mean, obviously, I could get over this guy, but the lie is not great either. So I, it, it, it's almost like I have to like chunk flop this, and thankfully, I have a little downhill slope. Oh, well, didn't chunk it at all. That's freaking nice. Bounce. I know it's on the green somewhere. It's like, I don't know, eight, nine, 10 yeah. feet-ish. Not bad from Sneaky Jail right here. All right, uh, shout out Shaler's cart for giving me the backboard here to bounce me into a pretty decent spot. Just a matter of kind of how it's gonna bounce through this fringe. We're gonna land it short and $100 hole out plus two rolls. So it's kind of on the line here. I knew it was good. Wow. I kind of landed really soft. I mean, yeah. It I was just... kind of expecting like that post rain little, at least one skip, but I guess I got a chance. If you really want it, Sean, you can $100, $100 hold out if you use your wedge here. Can I use my wedge here? Yeah. I think that seems like a good deal. Oh! <laughs> Dang. That was a little cocky, but I feel pretty good about it. But all right, let's see if Quan can. Uh, get a roll here early all right pretty fortunate to get out of the spot over there with a putt now a little left to rider i don't know if this line is maybe slightly too high but would like a roll right out the gates here you won't yes you will yes you will roll for kwan wow i feel like i just stole one from there in the trees i get a roll this guy's a big crazy up and down guy isn't he i love it Crazy up and down at Palouse, crazy up and down here. I want to be the crazy up and down guy. Yeah, good putt. Thanks, dude. All right, first Give roll. That. Give me that dice, Shaler. All right, let's see what we get. Make sure you're not cheating. Where's it? <laughs> Sorry. Four? <laughs> Takes me out. I, I like juked you out. <laughs> That's respectable. Four. I got a four. Four is not bad. First roll, four points on the board. What are we doing? Bucks. Are we doing five bucks for each point? Yeah. 20 bucks right out the gates. I am rich. All right, hole two here at Circling Raven, which is actually the backside, so hole 11. Uh, part four, I think we're just trying to go down to like the middle of the bunker or maybe like the middle left side of the bunker. Sending the dog. about right, I think. Nice, in a solid spot. All right, good drive from Quan. I better follow. I don't wanna get behind early like I did in the last dice game at Palouse, so I'm already down 20 bucks. I need a roll. Yeah, our balls might be playing with each other. Just kidding. Who says I can't hit draws? That was perfect. Who do you think you are I am? Nice. 
<laughs> also, in that last video that we played the dice game, I ended up rolling three ones in a row. So, you know, birdies, obviously, you want to make birdies so you can get the rolls, but you might need a lot of them if you keep rolling ones. It's possible. Yeah. All right, guys, got 114 uh, adjusted. Flag's in the front. It's a bit of a false front on the front part of the green, so you don't want to go too short. Looks like there's a little bit of a ridge past the flag, so we can maybe spin it off it. But 114, just kind of pretty just trying to land it on the number. It's like no wind out here right now. Dude, how nice is it right now? Dude, it's so perfect. <laughs> like we're playing golf in a vacuum. Yeah, it's just so good. I want to say that's good. I want to say that looks good. Just a touch long. Maybe a touch long, yeah. All right, I basically have the same exact number as Quan did, 113, 114. Uh, he hit it really close, so he's, he can be a tail of two nines guy. So he's uh, a, <laughs> so I got a feeling that I got it coming for me on this side, but I want to answer here with a good shot. You said you were going to hit that jailer. Oh. oh, I just left the face open. Yeah, seriously, I hate those, man. I know. Ugh. I had a couple of those in the front, and it's just, they're so <laughs> frustrating. Also, I thought about this as well. Uh, Shelly didn't really like this idea, but I thought about playing this dice game with two dice. So the first dice is basically your just regular roll. Say you roll a three, for example, and then your second dice, let's say you roll a six. Your second dice is actually a subtraction dice, so you want your second dice to be small number. So you could potentially make a birdie and go minus three points. <laughs> for making a birdie, but I just feel like that adds a level of chaos and just uncertainty, a little bit of uh, just up to chance. I mean, this game is already up to chance as is, so I feel like why not just lean into a little heavier? I, I feel like that would make it more fun. You guys let me know in the comments, because I'm actually considering doing that for uh, maybe a future dice game, but we'll see. I would get really wet. I just started recording like right when you said I'd I get- I would get really wet. <laughs> they have no idea, it could have, anything could have been said before that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I strategically just keep hitting bad wedge shots right to the edges of these. I'm really in for the $100 hole outs. I didn't even bring my putter. I, we gotta make it. Dude, I left it short. Meh. That's a pretty good chip though. So, I'll take the par. Quan's gonna give it to me even though he hasn't already said that it's good. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. Too busy filming. You're such a filmster. Filmsman. Hey, Shaler. I got something waiting for you if you make this. Ooh, hey, you what? You just hit my meat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got a, uh, I don't know, seven feet, six feet for my birdie. I I want to say it goes right to left, but I'm not really confident on it just yet. So I'm going to just, you know, I'll figure it out over the ball. That last second it went right. I thought I was going to get away with one. Dang it. I wanted that dice from you, Shaler. Can't have it. He's a, he's a dice keeper. <laughs> All right, righty, coming up to hole three. Uh, there's a par five, 581, we're downhill. It's a big group of trees right in the middle of the, the fairway. We're trying to just go a little bit right of those. Oh, that's the wrong side. Somehow I'll stay short. I don't think it will though. Uh, the bunker? Uh, yeah, you're short of it. Okay. Fairway. Oh. Wow, freak myself out for nothing. Okay. Um, Quan's still up 20 bucks, four points through two holes. It's a part five. This is an eagle opportunity. Let's give ourselves an eagle putt. It sounded start. tasty. Good start to an eagle. All right, in the fairway here, 237 adjusted to the flag, 217 cover. I don't know if that's a solid three iron or if I'm just gonna try to roast a four. <sighs> to be fair, I don't know what's over the screen, so uh, I don't think it's a three. I'm just gonna hit a four, kind of aim out to the right, hopefully it draws. If not, it should be just fine. Just pretty simple chip shot. Oh, that's got a carry. That's right at the flag. I just don't know if that's. Yeah, I'm going to say that's probably short. All right, yeah, Luke obviously doesn't know where his ball is yet, but he is not going to be happy. It's really trying to land it right where Shaler was, kind of like in the middle right part of the green, but it's all good. I think we got a bunker shot. All right, 221. Really good looking. I, I could see Quan's ball from here. I'm pretty sure he's plugged <laughs> in that bunker. Uh, it's going to be a tough 
par potentially. But uh, I think, you know what? I'm gonna rip a five iron. It's probably not gonna get there. I'm gonna hit it really hard. It's gonna turn right to left and hopefully gonna kind of skip back there right towards the hole. I mean, does that have the distance? Cause it looks Go. really good. Oh. What in the world, dude? That like fell out of the sky. Yeah. I actually didn't hate the way I hit that. Oh my gosh. Me and Sean were just talking about how there is, I don't know if the last time I've played around with this little wind, there's no, I can't even say little wind. There's quite literally no wind. There's not even a breath of wind. I mean, obviously there is right now, I'm in a cart, but like, it's kind of eerie. Like it feels weird. Like I feel like I can yell at Shaler from here and he can hear and I don't even have to, I don't even have to talk that loud. It's just, there's nothing in the air. This is so odd. All right, um, I'm in the bunker. Not all lies in the bunker are created equal because if you look at that one, that's a little bit different than mine. So I've got a great chance. This is a perfect lie. Hit a good bunker shot and uh, try to at least get a roll out of this while Quan struggles to not give me a roll. <laughs> all that talk about how much it's gonna nip and I hit nine inches behind the ball. <laughs> What a clown. Jeez Louise. All right, well, I mean, these plug light bunker shots are not impossible. Like, th if this shot was go over the, going over there to that, fl like a flag over there, it's definitely doable. But like, that flag is too far. And, dude, this is one of the worst plug lies I've seen in a long time. It is so deep in there. I don't even know how I'm gonna stand, but we're just gonna, we'll try to get as close as we can. Let's try to, let's try to get inside Sean. <laughs> Roll, pass John. I got it out. I mean, it, just bad Pretty luck. Good. I mean, relatively disappointing here. I had a great lie. Quan had an awful lie, and we basically have similar length birdie putts. That's just the way golf be sometimes. Um, but normally weird holes are capped off with long putts. So let's see if we can make one. It does tend to happen. It does tend to happen, doesn't it? Man, good putt. Yeah, it was a good putt. Oh well, nice par, dummy. Alrighty, let's try to make a weird birdie here from that just whatever that was. A little right to left, long putt. I hit that too hard. I hit that way too hard. Mm. I felt that right off the face. I don't know if you could hear me. I like, I hit it. I was like, I hit that too hard. You want to give me a roll? You can miss that and give me a roll. I know. Yeah, show him the dice. I know. It's a bad hole, but I could Sean could still be getting a roll here if I don't make this putt. I feel like that ball wanted to turn right and I just never let it. All right, no blood on this hole. Both made pars, albeit not great pars, but no blood. All right, hole four here. This is, dude, this is a long, long par three. At least we're downhill. What is the, what is the raw number? Uh, 262. 260 actual, uh, 250 adjusted. I mean, that's doesn't really help a whole lot, but 250, I think we've been both, was that a five wood as well? Mm -hmm. Go with a five wood. Pins in the back right spot. Oh, that ball is moving, settle. I honestly don't mind that that much. I mean, I don't think it rolled that much further than where it landed, hopefully, but I don't think it's too bad. All right, I got a five wood as well. Should actually be a perfect number for my five wood. I just get to kind of rip it and just want to avoid that bunker there on the right. Holy straight ball. I didn't want to move at all. I know, I love the line. I think it needs to sit a little too. Hundred dollar hole outs. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. We're both up for it. That's just such the tournament play. Yeah. I mean, you just don't want to hit it anywhere else really from two sixes. So. Alright. Well, ball is okay. We got honestly a pretty good amount of green to work with. Lies fine. Um should kind of come out a little bit dead and tumble out based on what I'm seeing in that lie. A little right to left. Oh, 
I thought I played that pretty good. That thing came out so dead though. <laughs> I judged it correctly. I thought it was just gonna roll out a little bit more, but it's all good. We got like a seven, eight footer for par. All right, I don't know how often I'm gonna mention $100 hole outs and keep not holing out, but holing out's hard. Golf is just hard in general. So we got another chance for it. Quant's got a little bit of a tester for par actually too. So um, if I can get this up and down, I might get a good chance to get a roll here. Came out so hot. It like kind of skidded. Dude, it did. Like it came out so good and like low out of here. I guess it was the lie, but honestly, all in all, pretty good. Hey, all righty, this is a weird putt. I mean, from that side, from the other side, I'm seeing it like going left and right, but over the ball, I'm feeling right to left. So I'm just gonna play this pretty straight, or maybe adjust while I'm over the ball. Kind of just feel it in there, you know. Holy save! Oh my! I am not giving Sean a roll. Let's go. Ah, oh, man. Thought I was going to get a freebie there, bud. Now I better clean this up after Quan made his nice putt. You really didn't have to do that, Luke. I know. I'm just such a piece of shit. <laughs> yep. God, those are some good up and downs. From 260. I know. Those are two good threes. I mean, I feel like par here is good pretty much any day. I can't imagine what this hole's like from that tee box into the wind. Get me off the course. Exactly. <laughs> if you guys are serious about taking your game to the next level and you're enjoying these videos where I'm kind of going through my process behind every single one of these shots, I actually have a course manager program that I think you'll be interested in. It's almost as if I'm sitting right there next to you guys and answering any questions that you guys have on why I'm hitting these certain shots on the course. Honestly, if you guys think course management is all about just hitting into the middle of the green every time, that's, there's a lot more nuance to it than just that. Here's a little sneak peek of what I can show you guys in my course management program right here. If I slow down my thoughts here so I can just try to explain, you know, my thought process to you, I probably initially thought, all right, let's hit my 170 club, about 155, which is the, the raw yardage here. But then you're going to also think about, all right, I'm taking off a pretty good amount of yardage if I were to hit that shot. So what happens when you do that? I actually have a free version of the course manager program. It's not the real version, but the free version is linked in the top right corner, or I'll put a link in the description for that. I also have a swing program if you guys want to help with your golf swing. I also have that link in the description. Alrighty, hole five, uh, par four. Again, we're on the back nine, so this is actually hole 14. We've got a bunker on the left side, which I think is carryable. So we're just gonna pretty much just aim at that bunker and probably fade off of it. You don't wanna go too far left though, because it's a big carry. I feel like I just freaking wiped across that, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. The fairway kind of kicks to the left as well. All good. All right, good drive by Quan there. I gotta get something going here. We've been on the par train. Um, just be better. Well, that was pretty tasty. Yeah, I like that one. That felt like a professional golfer hitting a golf ball compared to how it's been. All right, my ball, I, I honestly thought I was in the fairway, but I'm not, I'm in the first cut. So a little bit of less control here, but 104 adjusted. Um, I got a 55 degree, I'm gonna hit that. You know, a little bit bigger, should roll out maybe just a hair. Oh. Wow, I, I feel like that should like roll back. It's on like a ridge or something. I don't know, I can't tell. I thought that distance was pretty good, but it's a little far. It's all good. All right, 97 yards. I haven't had a roll this nine. Um, Quan's not gonna make any bogeys and give me a roll, so I better go make birdie and get some rolls for myself here. Cinnamon rolls? Cinnamon rolls, yeah. Man, those sound good. Oh, that is looking nice. Okay. I mean, does that not look like a tap-in? I hope it's tap-in. I, I like need you, it to be a tap-in. I feel like you almost made it. Could be wrong. <laughs> Just barely short, maybe? Clown me in the comments if he's 10 feet or further. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just gonna get in there real quick before Quan plays. Oh, there's sand on there. Please miss. Okay. <laughs> I get a roll. Here, hold on to this. Dice. Thanks, man. You wanna roll after? Uh... Yeah, yeah, I wanna roll after. Yeah. I just haven't held this dice all day, so. Curl, curl. What are you doing? Ooh. What are you doing? I really wanted that putt. So much so that I forgot about the speed. Oh, what have I done? Here we go, a little left to right. 
don't want to give Sean two rolls or else I think, I mean, I feel like he's going to get a good roll anyway, so I need to make this pot. All right, made the comebacker. Dude, I don't know why I have a bad feeling Sean's going to make a Very high good. number. Six. Six, that's what we want. We're tied up. Tie ball game. Four, four. All right. Okay. I mean, does that not look like it's happened? Alrighty, we're on hole six. Uh, again, back nine, so 15, but we got a par four, 426 down the hill. Uh, Sean said this is not a hole you want to be hidden driver, but that's what we're doing this trip, Sean. We're both going to be hidden driver. Should be, at least we're both fading it, so kind of fits our eyes. Um, that last bunker, I think, is probably not carryable, huh? Nope. Let's see what happens. Sean's going to lead us off here. Seems a little right, but I, I don't know. Yeah, that's actually fine. That, that should be in the fairway, honestly. Oh boy. I didn't hear a thing. I think we're good. I saw I saw a bounce over there. All right, we got 112 yards. I'm just ripping a 55. It's normally not what I would do, but my three quarter shots have been pretty bad. Minus the one last all, I guess, but gotta hit it close. I want another roll. Tie to fours. That looks pretty good. The distance is right. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. We can make that. All right, I got 104. Again, also in the fairway. Um, I feel like I can hit this like kind of close. Go, go with a 55 degree. Got It's going to be a slightly bigger swing, but I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of licking my chops right now with this flag. And you hit it too far right. Well, both of those wedge shots were not, I won't say terrible, but not that good. I don't know, should I say it? Should I say that I have a good feeling about this? I'm gonna say it. I have a good feeling about this. I want another roll. It's breaking right to left, right in the center of the cup. Oh, but you had to hit it. Oh, oh I had to hit it harder than that. That looks really good. Mm, for that was the right line and everything too. Frick. No roll. All right, Quan, what you got? Yeah, come on. We're, we're kind of, I feel like we're letting you down a little bit with all the <laughs> lack of rolls, but we're, we're trying to make birdies. We're at least doing good on the bogey department, but a little right to left down the hill. I'm also feeling good about this line. I just got to get the speed right. Snap. How is that oh. all moving? Not a whole lot more I could do, I feel like. I feel like I rolled that pretty, pretty solid. Man, that was a good putt. <sighs> Two pars for us. I feel like something can happen these last few holes, though. I'm not even, not even just saying that. I really do. Our seventh hole, hole 16 here at Circling Raven. 194 down to 182 pins. Pretty easy pin right there in the middle. Mm. It's like a perfect seven iron. It's asking for it. It is. Your tee hit me. Well, good. That's the only thing I hit straight on that shot. Then, ah, oh, that's so right. That was that was a really bad effort. Bogey's in play. I don't want to give Quan a roll. That sucked. I freaking hate that. It's still rolling. You suck. See, why do we play golf? Dude, I don't know. We're just so mean to ourselves. All right, I'm also gonna go with a seven iron. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take like five yards off. It's 181 adjusted. So, I mean, I feel like it's. Dude, this wind is just creeping me out. There's none of it. It's not a town in Alaska. None right? of it. Is it in Canada or something? Oh, yeah. Tell us in the comments. Uh, don't know if I took off enough. Settle. Oh, yes, I did. Could be a little two roller. How about breaking that drought real quick? <sighs> All right, Dirty Ernie. <laughs> I'm just going to keep talking about $100 whole lots because I'm trying to speak it into existence. Uh, Manifest, queen. I'm I'm manifesting. That's right. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. That is well chipped. Thanks, dude. All right. I actually hit a great shot here. It's a bit of a confusing putt. It's very subtle, but I'm going to just hit this right up the guts and just give it a little bit of pace. Wow. There she is. There's a roll. Give me that dice, Shaler. There you go. 
Okay. Yep. Never a doubt. All right. Let's see the roll. <sighs> should, I, should I fake you out again? Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dos. Good After defense all again. That, after all those holes, I get a two? You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Okay, daddy. <laughs> Alrighty, hole eight. So far it has been a freaking beautiful day, except for like the first like three holes when it's been raining, but par five, a couple bunkers on the left side. I don't think you can completely carry all of them. It's kind of what you see is what you get on this hole. Going with driver. Right? I don't think so, it's fine. Okay. All right, find the short grass, because if you find the short grass, you can make eagle here. Oh, does he have the carry? That was a gross swing. Oh. I think it's right of it. Yeah, it's it's right of it. I don't know why I was yeah. thinking it was left. No, that was just, that was really weird. Um, but it's in the fairway, so we take those. I got 260 here. It's kind of a back pin. If you go long left here, it's really a tough up and down. It's, I feel like if I rip a five wood and I hit it solid, it's going to be the perfect number. So that's the play. God, this weather is freaking beautiful. So perfect, dude. Oh my laced. Stay right. Stay, right. Stay right there. I mean, that's pretty good. <sighs> All right. We got an eagle look, hopefully guaranteeing myself a roll, but Quan. He's still got a chance. I'm lurking. He's lurking. Well, I got 245 adjusted. It makes me want to hit this five wood, but uh, long left not being good makes me think five woods not being good. So I'm gonna go with three iron. Well, feels like it's right there on that one. Come on, be good. Go! Oh, to cut the front. I mean, it might be front up on the green, right? But yeah, you're putting. Great swing. God, I hit that one so good. What is this, like 50 feet-ish or something? A little left to right. The speed looks a little complicated. It's like up and over this little ridge. So, gotta get the speed right. Hopefully, big bird. Two rolls. You won't. Oh my gosh! I thought I was good. All right, Shay Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I got an eagle putt. Quan's already got a roll, but this extra roll could really help me since he's two points up on me already. I mean, it's just such a hard putt to get left enough. Does it straighten out at the end too? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So it's like, it's so speed dependent. I didn't even hit it hard enough to get it there, but, yeah. oh, I missed it. <laughs> All right, we each get a roll. You there go first. There we go, give me that thing. Thanks, Shaler. Give me this Tropicana Las Vegas. Come, come on, on, come on, come on. He's at six. Yes. F yes. I mean. Keep it in there. I mean, Shoot. Keep it in there. Six. <laughs> you, you cannot keep that in there. All right. I need a big number. I need a six. Come on. Six, 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 six. Oh, that's a two. That is a two. <laughs> Thank you, Shaler. I forgot to count there for a second. Oh that's my two. goodness. All righty. Final hole. Some good dice roll on the last hole. Got a par four. <laughs> Sean's shaking his head. Par four, right? Yep, par four finish. Par four, I think that left bunker is reachable, so that is in play. Basically just trying to cut it off that left side. Point and shoot. Just tell me where to hit it. At least just for the last two holes. Other holes was well, not like that. Six points down. There's not a whole lot I could do. Quan just striped it, so I, I have to stripe it as well. So let's see if we can do that. I mean, that looks really good too. It's just right center fairway. Yep. All right. We got a chance. Don't know why I didn't see it on camera, but yeah, it's good. Yeah, I kind of got behind those trees a little bit. Yeah. I have 122 here. I mean, got to go right at it. Down six points. And I need Quan to do something dumb too. <laughs> Starts with me though. Wide. Hmm. Maybe a touch deep. Yeah, just a touch. <laughs> All right, I got 104. I feel like I've gotten 104 like 
kind of often on this back nine. But 104 adjusted, we go with a uh, 55 degree. Getting there tight. Can't tell, it's either good or it's a little short. Dude, I, I've heard a little bounce sound there. I haven't heard that all day. This is it. Say it one more time, you won't. Say it, you want me to say it? Say it. 100 dollar hole out. <laughs> Has to happen. Et cetera, et cetera. Man, I feel like I'm a broken record in saying hundred dollar hole out. But I've hit a lot of good pitches and it's just they've all gone to like four feet, which is great, but I wanna make one. Mm. Same result. Good try. Thanks, good dude. Try. I'll give you that. Yeah, good tries. Don't make you money. Nice. <sighs> Alrighty. Well, looks like I'm safe on the on the dice rolls from Sean, so I mean I guess it would be more money. Each, yeah. each point is five dollars, so right to left, swinging. Monies? Oh, you left it short. Oh! I don't like monies. Oh, well. That was a good day, bro. That was a good day. Another fun day out here in the Pacific Northwest. Shout out to Circling Raven for having us out here. Man, this is a, uh, this one, this dice game, I will say was a little bit less eventful, but it's a fun game. I still enjoy it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed playing out here. Again, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the first dice, second dice, second dice being the subtract thing. I might want to try it. But anyways, if you guys have made it all the way to the end of the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out if you guys do that. If you're part of the 60% that are watching that are not subscribed, what are y'all doing? Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in some more Pacific Northwest content. Hey guys, if you're wanting my help to improve your golf, I put everything I know into my two programs here. In this one, I show you everything that you need to see in your swing in order to be a good ball striker. And if you don't see these things, I show you how to fix it. And in this one, I show you the course management knowledge that elite level players use to play good golf. And these are the things that I wish I knew a long time ago. If you want more information, check out the links in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support me and my journey, it'd be awesome to have you as one of my patrons where you get access to a private group where I do live streams after my tournament rounds, have exclusive content for patrons only, and even do the occasional giveaway with signed putter head covers. Information about that is also in the description below.